Hey guys, my name is ScobyT. I'm going to be showing you how to export audio on Adobe Premiere Pro. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you're going to do is have a Premiere Pro project open and a sequence open in that project with some audio waveform on your timeline track like you can see I have right here. This is just a quick sample of my video how to turn part of an image black and white in Adobe Photoshop. If you want to watch that, click the card on screen. But the first thing you want to do is make sure you either select the timeline at the bottom or the preview window. From here, we're going to be going to File. We're going to be going to Export media and once this little window pops up we're going to be opening up the format drop down and from here we're going to be selecting one of the many audio formats we have available to us in adobe premiere pro in this case i'm mainly going to be looking at the mp3 format but of course you can choose one of the other audio formats if you so wish so the first thing you notice when you click mp3 or any audio file you'll notice there'll be no preview available because since there's no actual image in this they won't actually be able to show a preview you'll also get the option to choose some of the presets available to you in premiere pro in this case i'm not going to be using any of these i'm going to be coming down to the bottom here underneath our audio tab and you can play around with the others if you wish in this case i'm going to be focusing specifically on the audio tab to where we can really change around our settings the first option we have is selecting channels from mono to stereo and this is if you want your audio to be a mono or stereo track in this case i'm going to be leaving it as a stereo track the next thing we can choose is the audio bitrate and we have a number of options here usually i like to go with the highest but of course this will result in a higher output file so this is really up to you depending on what you need and depending on where you're using it and finally we have the codec quality we have fast and high and depending on what you put this on it can affect the render time but this really depends on how long your track is and it's really negligible for me in my case because it's a simple audio track there's no real crazy effects or anything on it but of course you can play around with this to your specific needs from here, we're going to be coming back up to the top right beside our output name. And we're going to be double clicking on this blue text right here. And when we open up this option, we're going to be able to select where we want our actual output file to go to. So you can select wherever you want. I'm just going to leave it in this default location. I'm just going to put test audio, click save. And then all you want to do is click export in the bottom right and your audio track will be exported in Premiere Pro. And it's as easy as that to export audio in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to leave a link down below to my PayPal if you found this video helpful and you want to support me. Of course, there's no pressure if you can't. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.